Former President of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Medvedev, publicly admitted that the Telegram Messenger is one of the tools in the information war against Ukraine. Telegram is used by Moscow to spread Russian propaganda among Ukrainians. Medvedev no longer hides that the messenger is a tool of influence for Putin's team. Despite its shortcomings, Telegram enables the authorities of Ukraine to convey the truth to people in the temporarily occupied territories. According to Putin's henchman, using a messenger created by Russian programmer Pavlo Durov, the authorities deliver their materials to the average Ukrainian. This is de facto Medvedev officially confirming that with the help of Telegram, the Kremlin spreads Russian propaganda among Ukrainians, according to online Ukrainian media outlet. In addition, he began to justify that the presence of criminal activity in Telegram does not mean that it was approved by the founder of the messenger, Pavel Durov. According to the former president of the Russian Federation, the Telegram messenger is used by a large number of Russians, in particular in the war zone. Telegram is used as a messenger by a huge number of our people, including those who are on the front line. And our enemy has repeatedly said that they cannot control it. And the materials that we publish in Telegram reach the perception of the average Ukrainian. And he also begins to have mental processes that are somewhat different from what is shown on TV. Therefore, it is clearly a political story. And it is necessary to deal with it, Medvedev said. Interestingly, against the backdrop of recent events, Medvedev also began to publicly demand that the official Paris detain Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg as well, and not just the Russian Pavel Durov. According to the head of Ukrainian intelligence, Kirill Budanov, the Telegram messenger, is a serious problem for the national security of Ukraine. That is, in our country, any person can create a channel, start writing whatever he wants on it, and when they start doing something, cover up that this is media freedom. But this is not media freedom. It is called a little differently, he said.